Okay, student, let's see what is there in this question. A space probe moves in a circular orbit around Earth. The kinetic energy of the probe is E. The probe will reach the escape speed when its kinetic energy is increased to at least. Okay, so what is the minimum value that to which the kinetic energy should increase so that it becomes, the velocity becomes escape velocity and it should move out. So, couple of things to be noted here. First of all, we are already talking about orbit. We are talking about a satellite which is already moving in the orbit. But the expression that we usually use for the escape speed, which is root of 2gm by capital R, or which can also be written as root of 2gr, this expression is to be used to find the escape velocity for the bodies which are placed on the planet. So the rocket should be resting on the planet's surface, then this formula is correct. Otherwise, this formula is not, they cannot be used directly. So in this case, we cannot use this formula directly, it means. Now what to do? So we have to consider this. We will find the total energy of the satellite in the motion. We will see because it is, uh, it is a satellite motion. We know that the total energy will be negative according to the bound state criteria, I would tell you. Obviously, some energy has to be given to it. The total energy afterwards should become zero. That is the concept. So let me introduce you with another concept, another very beautiful concept, which is bound state. Well, in many other videos, we have already discussed this thing. We have already talked about this. So it is a possibility that you already know what bound state is. So bound state is that you see the satellite is having a kinetic energy. Satellite is after all having a velocity, but still it is, it is bound with the planet. It is not independent to move around the planet, the uh, satellite, even having the velocity, even then it has to move according to planet. It cannot move according to his wishes. Like I would be flying away from the earth. It is not possible. Now, why is that not possible? Is there any string which is tied here? No, there is no such string, nothing there. So why this doesn't fly? So there is a phenomena which is called bound state. If the energies of the satellite, they move according to the principles laid by bound state concept, then we will say that the satellite is bound to Earth. Otherwise, it might be a rocket and it might fly away. There is no problem with that. They can fly away, but this satellite is not going to fly away because the energy of the satellite is um, satisfying the condition of bound state. Now, how is that happening? So what is bound state? So in bound state, we know that the potential energy will be taken as this. Now, potential energy in gravitation is always taken negative. It is given by GMM by R. Kinetic energy is always positive and it is the magnitude is half of the magnitude of potential energy. Now, what about the total energy? Total energy is when we add these two. So simply you can add this with algebra and you would be getting a negative answer, which is negative GMM by to R. So clearly the magnitude of total energy is equal to the magnitude of kinetic energy, but kinetic energy is positive and total energy is negative. Whenever we talk about satellite motion, these are the formulas that we have to first consider. Okay, so these are always valid if the satellite is moving around the planet. So these are always valid now. It means that this satellite is having this much of the total energy. Now we have to give some more surplus energy that will be given to this so that the total energy becomes zero. It means the extra energy that must be given to it that should be equal to the same amount. It will be positive GMM by 2R. If the same energy is given, the total energy is already this negative. It's kind of negative U, you can say uh, negative E. So you are giving positive E. So the total energy becomes zero. And that is the condition for the escape speed. Clear. So from this discussion, what we have learned, we learn that for escape speed, E amount of energy must be given back to it. Now this, the magnitude of total energy is equal to the magnitude of kinetic energy. So the question says that kinetic energy is equal to E here, the total energy is also, it is negative E. So we have to provide plus E. It means E 
was the kinetic energy of the satellite which was already in the orbit further e energy has to be given to it so whatever energy the satellite was having the same amount of energy has to be given to the satellite and satellite will fly away it means that the answer for us will be 2e the probe will reach the escape speed when its kinetic energy is increased to 2e earlier it was e e is further given to it it becomes 2e hence the answer will be b i believe it's a bit confusing question no doubt about it please watch the video a uh, couple of times and things will fall in place and you will understand each and everything this is how we do this question okay dear student this is professor varun thanks for watching the video please join the youtube channel if you want to watch all the lecture series all the best bye